Hi, I'm T-Blaze. If you haven't seen my channel yet, then please subscribe because we just hit 100 subscribers, which means a 100 subscriber special. That's right. I'm going to be going over my top five favorite Sonic characters of all time. As you can see, I've got some Sonic characters on my screen, and uh, I'm going to rank them. And uh, I'm going to also go over if they should be in Sonic Speed Simulator, if they already are, and when they might be in Sonic Speed Simulator. Okay, first off, Metal Sonic. Okay, I got to go over this one. This guy is the... It, it used to be my favorite character in Sonic Speed Simulator. When it first came out, I loved it. And uh, I think this is what really got me into all of the Sonic lore and stuff. So, this guy, number five, he is in Sonic Speed Simulator. Number four. This is just... I gotta say, Big the Cat... He's really funny. Um, I played Sonic Frontiers. It's got Big the Cat. Uh, it's just so fun. Also, fishing is much funner than doing all the hard quests in Sonic Frontiers. So, like, this guy is amazing. Um, and he's in Sonic Speed Simulator. And not really a lot to say. He's just goofy. Yep. Anyway, number three. Okay, now this one might be a little eh. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog, I put him in number three and not number two or one. Because, yes, he has probably the greatest backstory of every character. Um, and he's also super cool. And he's going to be in Sonic Speed Simulator soon. We think, um, I did put the logo, but either way, um, he just, he's not as cool as the next two, and I feel like the next two both have really good lore. Um, number two, now this spot I feel like is well-deserved, Mephilius the Dark, or, uh, Mephilus the Dark. Either way, he is probably one of the coolest characters. Um, he's sort of made out of crystals, and his backstory is that he is a piece of a sun god, and he is the raw intelligence of that sun god. So that's why he, I guess, in Sonic 06 was completely undefeatable and just killed sonic yeah he's it's really cool how he's able to time travel and fight other characters and just not lose because he can time travel and shoot lasers but like i've gone over in a video before there's one character i think could beat him and he i don't think has been given justice in the Sonic universe yet. Infinite. Now, Infinite is super cool. He's got this silver mask, uh, silver shoes. Um, they look like they're made out of iron. Um, the gloves are cool. He's glowing red. Um, it's honestly, his character design was probably the best. Um, out of every other character. Um, now, here's the thing with Infinite. He has the backstory of being defeated by Shadow, and that's where the whole I'm not weak thing comes from. But then he tries to get his revenge in Sonic Forces, and as you might know, Sonic Forces was... Eh, it, has, it had some cringe moments... Now, part of it was um, Infinite being defeated by the double boost, which really 
that should not be able to defeat Infinite. Infinite has the Phantom Ruby, an object that allows the user to be stronger than Supersonic. Any super transformation. He should not be defeatable. But, for some reason, he was defeated. Now, this is why I think he'll be in Sonic Frontiers 2 or the DLC. Um, obviously, um, it would be really cool if uh, he was in Sonic Speed Simulator. And I think he will be in Sonic Speed Simulator soon. The writing on the Golden Sonic statue was from Sonic Forces. And honestly... Uh, with Shadow being added to the game, I could see, like, an episode Shadow update being pretty close to, uh, finished in Sonic Speed Simulator. And if they could make a reskin of this with a golden mask, golden boots, and golden gloves, that would be amazing. And even cooler, a, a red cape, like... That would be so cool, like a red energy cape for this guy. I feel like Infinite is probably the coolest character in the Sonic franchise and has the most potential. Anyway, that's my 100 subscriber special. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next video.